No, I kind of love being seen as the underdog because when you win, I just I think it's more entertaining for everyone. But well, um, you know, I've been the underdog this whole time. I was underdog my first match, been underdog my last two matches. And I kind of love that this match is underdog versus underdog. I think it'll be close, good match. And uh, you know, I just got to take my cue from all of the movies that I watch. You know, where the underdog comes out on top and. Uh, I'm still reeling over that win. It was a close match. I was way behind. I didn't expect to win that one, so I'm stoked to be here in round two of the tournament. Nah, doesn't impress me at all. Doesn't impress me at all. I think uh, the round two is definitely going to factor in heavily. I certainly can't rely on getting personal preference every time. Um, and uh, I'm sure, like, the last games I've played, the IMDb round is going to be a major factor. You know, everybody thinks that Lord of the Rings and Marvel might be my only two strong categories, but, you know, there's a couple others that even if I fell back on them, you know, I still think pretty confident I would do well. Yeah, I just really want to get another match in the tournament, so I got to beat John for that reason. The reason I need to beat Zach today is because I'm always going to be an underdog. I belong in this tournament and in this league. Hello and welcome back to Worldwide Movie Trivia. We are now in the second match of round two. Zabi Raymond, one of the best fighters I've seen in a long time, unfortunately got sent home packing in the last question thanks to Jen Kemp. And after this, she will face the winner of tonight's match, the real American John Salvi, the 13 seed, versus Maverick Zach Mitchell, the 12 seed. Here with me in the co-hosting chair, for her first time, I might add, the Semerel, Kristen Smith, fresh off her win against Corey the Governor Brown. Kristen, I have no idea who's going to win tonight. You, who, who you got? <laughs> well, I uh, it's a battle of countries here, and that's difficult because while I am from America, I uh, live pretty close to Canada. I, in fact, have to drive south to get to Canada. So it's an interesting predicament for me. Um, yeah. But my other issue is that um, Zach happens to be a, a fellow Brett aficionado. So uh, I think I got I think I got Zach on this one. All right, fair enough. That's a very fair prediction. And it really could go many ways. I mean, shit, for all we know, we could start World War III tonight. But uh, I'm hoping that's not the case. <laughs> <laughs> and with that being said, let's do this! Introducing first, with a record of two wins, no defeats, his last match came down to the last possible question, and he pulled it out. Give it up for Maverick, Zach Mitchell! Woohoo! And his opponent, with a record of three wins and no defeats. He truly is the most patriotic fighter in this league. Give it up for the real American, John Salvi. Woo. All right. So round one is going to go like this. Each competitor will receive four questions from four predetermined categories in sets of twos. Each question is with one point apiece, and there is no stealing in this round. Zach, as the higher ranked seed at number 12, would you like the option of going first or second? I'll go second. All right, and John, please choose from category one or category two. Since I'm always the underdog, I'll take number two. <laughs> All right. Kristen. I will have you read to your fellow Brett aficionado, Zach, and I will read to John Salvi, Category 2. Perfect. <laughs> All right. John, your first question under the category of directors. 
besides The Insider, Michael Mann was nominated for an Oscar for which film? I, should, I feel like I should like Michael Mann more than I do. I feel like I should know who Michael Mann is. It's really sad. Pretty <laughs> good director. The name is very familiar. Um, it's right. named after a famous gender. That's true. <laughs> In five, four, three, two, Don't one. Have... And time. I'm sorry. We were looking for the aviator. The Martin Scorsese classic. All right, your second question. Under the category of sci-fi fantasy. In the Harry Potter franchise, what was the first Horcrux to be destroyed? <laughs> this question could throw some people first. off, Kristen. You know, I think it could. Because, uh, you know, Harry Potter can be pretty confusing. All the magic and nonsense. There's a lot of horcruxes. I mean, uh, there are like seven of them. Right. But what was the first? Oh, uh, it, don't, got nothing? Don't have right. it, no. We're don't looking have. for Tom Riddle's diary in Chamber of Secrets. Ah, with the sword. Of course, yes. Yep. Well, actually with the basilisk fang, but yes. Mm. <laughs> All right, Kristen, take it over to Zach. All right. Zach, in your first question from the category of directors, who directed Rise of the Planet of the Apes? Is that Matthew Vaughn? Incorrect. Unfortunately, the answer we were looking for was Rupert Wyatt. Right. All right. And your second question in the category of uh, sci-fi fantasy, what squadron of X-Wings get sent into the shield to the planet surface at Scarif in the climax of Rogue One. If you uh, can believe me, I, I think Case wrote these questions. Gold? Oh, unfortunately, it was a different color blue. Uh, yeah, and the only reason uh, we, we know that is because none of them survived. <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> Sadly, yes. To in, in, to commemorate all those lost in the Battle of Scarif, all ye nameless pilots. As we come back over to John for your third question, the category of comic book movies. In Batman Begins, Descartes tells Bruce Wayne to follow what color flower to find the League of Shadows? Uh, blue flower. That is correct. Nice. Final question under the category of 90s. In The Usual Suspects, Roger Verbal Kent and a man from what Eastern European nationality tell the police about Kaiser Soze? Now, The Usual Suspects is one of those movies that most people have had, uh, you know, ruined for them before they even watch it. It's just mm -hmm. too bad. It's a crime against cinema. It's a crime. It is. I'm just going to guess Poland. Ooh, sorry, we're looking for a Hungarian. I guess he wasn't Hungary enough for the answer. Uh, Ooh, oh man, Chris. <laughs> Add it again with the bad puns. All right, Zach, in your third question, comic book movies. Who wrote and directed Kick-Ass 2? Uh, not so good one. Is that Matthew Vaughn again? Unfortunately, it was not. It might have been better if it was, but it is Jeff Wadlow. <laughs> and uh, your last, uh, your last question here: '90s movies. Cameron Poe, an honorably discharged United States Army Ranger, is found guilty of manslaughter in what '90s movie? Connor. Absolutely, Connor. Fucking favorite. Favorite 90s movie. I love 90s action movies. <laughs> I love Connor. Oh, 90s action movies. Awesome. Nice, nice. And the score is currently tied at one point apiece as we go into round two, and it will go as such. Each competitor will choose a number between one through eight, which will pertain to either a certain movie category or personal slash rival's preference. 
You will be given the category names ahead of time, but not the number they're associated with. And you may pick twice, but you must stick with the second option if the first one's not to your liking. You will then be given four questions worth two points apiece. No multiple choice is available for one point, and there is stealing in this round. Zach, because it's a tie game and you are still the favorite, would you like to go first or second? I'll go second. Okay, going for the Lucas Schildbach strategy. <laughs> All right, and John, the categories in this round are Ridley Scott, Marvel, movie release dates, new releases, DC, and 80s. Please choose a number between 1 through 8. Uh, let's go 6. That is the category of DC movies. Would you like to stick with that or go for something else? Going to stick with it. All right. All right. He's going to play over to the other side for once. Okay. This will be interesting. <laughs> All right. So just to clarify, this is not just DCEU. It's everything from... Everything DC. Okay. Correct. Gotcha. Just wanted to clarify. Thank you. It's all good. All right. Kristen, I will have you read to John in this round. Perfect. All right, John. Are you ready for DC? Hell yeah. Absolutely. All righty. So your first question. What is the name of the woman that turns into Enchantress in Suicide Squad? Not my favorite DC movie of all time. <laughs> Not even close. Nope. Um, gonna need multiple choice on that. All right, your multiple choice answers are A, Loreline Sun, B, Ava Planet, C, June Moon, and D, Melanie Star. He was going with celestial themes, I believe. I, yeah, I think like all of those are some sort of space object. I think it's June Moon. That is correct. That is correct for one point. All right. Your second question in the category of DC is in Superman 4. The quest for peace. Superman saves some people in a space station from what country? I don't blame him for not knowing this one right away because this movie is awful. I've oh, seen it so many to... times, though. That's the problem. I Ooh. should know this. Opposite for uh, me. I'm going to go multiple choice. All right. Your multiple choice options are A, America, B, Russia, C, China, and D, Australia. Home of our very own Jacob Lund. Uh, Russia? That is that correct. That is correct, comrade. Very good. I... I hated myself from taking multiple that. choice. Now I knew that. <laughs> that was my it's first. Okay. first Sometimes it's better to be safe than take the <sighs> chance. It's all right. You still Sorry. got the point. All right, your third question in DC movies. Batman Returns was nominated for what two Oscars? Batman Returns. Batman Returns. Pretty oh, well. sure of one, but not the other. If I can get multiple choice. Yeah, absolutely. So you got A, best visual effects and best makeup. B, best costumes and best set decoration. C, best costumes and best makeup. And D, best set decoration and best visual effects. Uh, B. Ooh, Zach, Ooh. chance to steal. D. Also, also yeah, it's uh, it actually is A, best visual effects and best makeup. Oh, which, makeup. I mean, if you think about uh, yeah. the penguin in that, it's not, yeah. not too hard to believe that one. Your last question in DC movies. Who directed Green Lantern? Everyone's favorite DC movie. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh... God, multiple choice. Oh yeah, for sure. A, James Mangold. B, Sam Mendes. C, Mark Forrester. And D, Martin Campbell. Uh, Martin Campbell? That is correct. Wow, nicely done. These were some deep cuts. These were some I deep love cuts. DC, but yeah. these were hard for me and I love DC, so. Well done, sir. All right, at the end of his bit there, John is now in the lead at four to one. Now, sure, Zach doesn't necessarily have to score that many points, but we've seen crazy things happen in these round two situations. So, 
Absolutely. Zach, their main categories in this round are 80s movies, movie release dates, new releases, Ridley Scott, and Marvel. Please choose number between 1 through 8, and 6 is off the table. 2. Oh, Whoa. he just hit personal preference. Yes. Nice. My dog was so excited about it, it had to bark. All right, uh, you. pick your choice, man. I'm going to do 80s. Nice. All right, all right. I will read you a question for the category of 80s. First question. In which Italian city does Indiana Jones find the Tomb of the Night in Last Crusade? Venice. That is correct for two wow. points. Jesus. Right off the bat, two big points. Jeez. Second question. In Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Ferris persuades Cameron to let him use his father's Ferrari from which year? Ooh. Uh... I wish I owned a Ferrari. Right? Man. But the one I have multiple choices. All right. The options are A, 1951, B, 1961, C, 1966, D, 1971. 1966. <gasps> Ooh, John, oh, John, chance to steal. Uh, B. That is correct. Wow. Stolen point. My dad's birth year is the right answer, as opposed to my mom's, which you guessed. But good try, though, Zach. <laughs> I knew it was 60s, so it was one of those two. All right. A Third. valiant effort. A very valiant effort. Third question. In Airplane, Ted meets Elaine in a bar, and they dance to which song? Staying Alive, Bee Gees. Tie wow. game. He didn't even wait. Fuck. And for your final question, in the category of 80s, how many Star Trek movies were released in the 80s? Surprisingly, I only really love one of the one of the films that were released in the '80s from Star Trek. Mm. Um, four. That is correct for two Whoa. more points. Jeez. Very nice. Thought it through and came up with the right answer there. I would have said three, but good guess. Very good. Very good. At the end of round two, Zach is in the lead, seven to five. As we wow. now come into round three, and it will go as such. Each competitor will be given the year, genre, and three plot keywords of a given film. If they know the answer from that information alone and they guess correctly, they'll receive five points. However, if two more keywords are needed, the total possible then goes down to three points. And if one last keyword is needed, the total possible then goes down to one point, and there is no stealing in this round. Zach, because you have the lead, Please choose either movie number one or movie number two. Movie number one. All right. Kristen, I'll have you read John his movie for movie number two. All righty. Movie number two. Your year is 1993. Genres are comedy, fantasy, and romance. And your first three plot keywords are suicide, radio, and report. Uh, I need uh, two more. More, more keywords, yeah. All righty. Your next two keywords are cameraman and frustration, which is, I think, what John is feeling right now, actually. A little bit of that frustration. Oh, ha, ha, ha. I, I don't blame him. <laughs> I do not He's... blame him. I'm going to need another keyword. All right. Your last keyword is repetition. I'm not even competing. I'm nervous for you. A little bit. Myself here, too. Because I can feel it. He knows it. He's just... It's just a matter of getting there. Oh, when I hear it, I'll, I'm going to... You will. In five, four. Um, no. Three. Not coming. Two. All right. Oh, man. We it is Groundhog Day. Hog Day. Oh. Yeah. got to be kidding me. Yep. Oh. I know. Sorry, man. <laughs> but now, Zach 
If he hits his five or his three, he wins the game. So, Zach, your year is 2013. Your genres, animation, comedy, and fantasy. And your first three plot keywords are cheating, initiation, and, or and origin. Monsters University. And your winner, Maverick, Zach Mitchell. Wow, that's a bad movie that you got to know. I don't know how I got that so easily, but it just came to me. Wow. Final score, 12 to 5. Wow. I, 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 I. You know what? I got no words right now. Let's just cut to a post-match. Go. Wow, guys. Uh, it's official. I am out of the dungeon, and I'm here safe in my own home, and it's beautiful. And <laughs> I have came here with shades ready and prepared, but to hear the sad news that the real American John Salvi has lost. Um, what are your initial thoughts? Uh, I, you know, um, I guess my luck just ran out this, this game. Um... This match, uh, you know, round two, I didn't hit personal preference. Um, I thought my secondary safety net DC would have been a good category to stay with. Uh, I was scared to pick a second choice, so I stuck with DC. And those questions were t a lot tougher than I thought. And uh, I had to struggle through those. And, you know, really not knowing Groundhog Day, fuck me. You know, one of my favorite movies of all time. And I couldn't fucking put the pieces together. God damn it. <laughs> pissing me off. <sighs> oh man so is that something that you're gonna look back at and just realize that you should have done better I, I I tell you right now I am never watching Groundhog Day again as much as I love that movie I am never gonna watch that movie again because I'm gonna see that fucking movie and I'm gonna think of this match and it's gonna make me fucking cry in my sleep and wet the bed because god damn it, it this is pissing me off now well while you're pissed off can you what's next for you then uh you know whatever happens whatever comes about after the tournament I'm ready for it. Um, you know, obviously, um, you know, I, knowing that uh, Jen won her match, uh, that would have been another one to that would have been scary to face. You know, Zach. You know, um, so I'm got to give Zach uh, some. Uh, you know, he's got to um, get himself ready because Jen's a tough competitor. So. All right. Anything else to say before you close out your time during the tournament? Hell yeah, I got something to say. I always got something to say because you know what? I'm the real American, and I always got something to say. So I'm looking for any comers. You know, I'll, I'll 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 take anybody on right now. You know, anybody that thinks they can step up to the real American, you know, I'm ready for the next match. You're ready. If I have a fucking next match tomorrow, next week, next month, come on, just bring it. You know, I'm ready for the next match. Come on, I just want to wipe this way. Fuck Grand Hog Day. Fuck all this shit. I'm at, you know. Well, that's it with John Salvi. Well, uh, we're gonna cut to a half year, Zach Mitchell. Wow, Zach Mitchell, yet again. I can't say it's an upset, but it's another impressive win. First, you go out and beat Brett Sheridan, which we should have rigged that match, but we didn't. You go out and beat Case Cornelius, the question writer of our league. And now you go out and beat the real American John Salvi. You're on a hot streak, man. Can you explain it for us? Yeah, I don't know. I just, I'm just on a lucky streak right now because I've taken down some tough competitors with Case, Brett, and Salvi. So happy to carry on in the tournament. Well, all right, here's the thing. Most of your matches are very schmoes, no oriented, as like I would like to say, because they're all very much related to the schmoes. This one might be the most tough yet who is related to the schmoes. You have Jen Kemp coming up. Jen Kemp, Jen Kemp. herself. Are you scared? I am scared. Jen is going to be a very tough competitor, but I'm also really stoked to play her because she's one of my favorite people in Schmoville. Mm -hmm. So it'll be a friendly match, but. I hope I can take her down. I think it'll be close. We both know classics and a lot of well-rounded categories. Okay. Well, as one of the powerhouses in the league, do you actually see yourself having a good chance to win this tournament to go up against the Jacob London, the champ? You know, I don't know if I can win this thing, but I've made it this far. And if I can beat Jen, that's, you know, that'll be good enough. I don't know if I'll get farther than that, but we'll see, you know, you never know. All right, well, thank you very much, Zach Mitchell. I'm pretty sure you're riding a very high high uh, from this match, and I can't wait to see your match against Jen. We're throwing it back to Chris. Holy shit! You know, John is nothing to be ashamed of. Zach, 
I think he's just going to score 12 points for the rest of his uh, worldwide movie <laughs> streaming career. But, uh, Kristen, final thoughts. I mean, to be fair, some of those DC questions were some real deep cuts. And I think John did a really great job getting those because I love DC movies and I didn't know a lot of those. So, I mean, you got to give him credit for getting some tough questions in there. But, man, I knew Zach could do it. Strong competitor. You might need to be worried coming up here, Chris. <laughs> oh, well, you know, you have a great point. But that's if he can uh, beat his next opponent in the semifinals, uh, you know, up against Jen Kemp. But who knows? We'll, we'll just have to see. But, you know, once again, to both of our competitors, congratulations. Guys, if you like this, click the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to Take Three Productions. For my first-time co-host, the Cimarell Kristen Smith, I'm Chris Skywalker-Doman. We'll see you at the next match. Take care!